Welcome to the habitat of the quarry bustard. This is a lesser known bird species that calls the African savanna its home. Here at the zoo, its habitat consists of a large fenced in area full of tall grasses, bushes, and other vegetation. This, is, this allows the quarry bustards to blend in with their surroundings. Male quarry bustards are about five feet tall and have a wingspan of about eight feet long. That's longer than a king size mattress. During breeding season, male quarry bustards can get up to 40 pounds. This makes them the heaviest bird capable of flying. Now females, on the other hand, are a bit smaller and they only get up to about 15 pounds all year round. Though they're capable of flying, quarry bustards do spend most of their time on the ground. They have long necks and long legs that allow them to forage in the tall grasses while keeping a lookout for predators. They do have three forward facing toes on their feet, which give them the ability to walk and run on the ground. Quarry bustards are what we call opportunistic omnivores. Basically, if they can catch it, they'll probably eat it. Some of the things that they commonly eat include snakes, small lizards, insects, seeds, flowers, leaves, and they also prefer the sticky gum of the acacia tree. They'll use their sharp beak to scrape it off of the tree trunks. During breeding season, males will put on a very impressive display to court the females. To do this, they will slowly strut around and then they will bow to the female and they'll inflate their neck up to four times its original size. It gets up to the size of about a basketball. Now while they do this, they'll make a low sound vocalization that sounds like a low bass drum. We call this booming. It is a very impressive display to see. In the wild, quarry bustards are a near threatened species. Like many other savanna animals, they're threatened with habitat loss and fragmentation. Specific to quarry bustards, they do have issues with collisions with power lines. Research has shown that there are some birds that are not capable of seeing the power lines when they're flighted. So when quarry bustards do take flight, that is often something that uh, can harm them. Here at home, you can help native birds while migrating. You can do this by bird proofing your home. During the migration season, it's important that you turn off your lights at night. That is when many birds migrate and the lights from your houses can cause confusion while they're migrating. 